changing gear ratios. Why? 430s are too buco for a stock motor. <clears throat> what else are we changing right now? Uh, we changed the carburetor around. Why? Because it was a little too rich. And I don't mean with money, I mean with air fuels. <laughs> You're a comedian today? I'm a comedian today. So we're gonna put the carburetor back on. Uh, Kevin from CSU sent us some parts to fix it. Lunchy at Tense Carburetor fixed it for us, so we're gonna, well, he altered it for us. We don't know if it's fixed yet, but. <laughs> Hopefully fixed, we don't so know we're gonna put, yet. put the carburetor back on, put the gears back in, and change the oil and go back out tonight. And we're gonna see what happens. Okay, sweet, thanks, bye. You can't say that word on here. Axel? Hey, hey. Axel. Hey. I said Axel. Yeah. Our gun-drilled Axel. Don't, don't do oh. thing. gun -drilled axles. <clears throat> yeah, it's more common now than it was before in, in light and flange. But there's light and flanges on the axles. <clears throat> and shown the our top secret uh, when you when we had this car and we were racing it. Nothing. Not a lot. We didn't have a lot of money to put on shit, so we just improvised. And so we didn't put disc brakes on it. The front has disc brakes. They're not TBMs, but TBM really wasn't banging like it is now. I mean, they've been around for a long time, but they didn't have. Basically, there's aerospace on the front, which are my first brakes. The axle. The axle. So we took uh, the stick shift all motor car had uh, 430s in it, and with the stock motor, it, it can't. Oh no! Oh, I no, lost our light. Take two. It's just dark. Whoa! <clears throat> what were you saying? Your stick shift all motor car. Our stick shift. Uh, that commandeered. It uh, had 430s in it. The stock motor that's in here now doesn't really want to rev as high as that one did. So. Putting 373s in, if they'll go. This is a pain in the ass. There we go. So when I put my drunk in there and put a blower on it and some nitrous on it, it doesn't like it? It doesn't rev. The, the other motor rev to 80. What do you expect? 8600. This one only goes to 64 or 65. Stuff, I thought I used to shift it at like 72, if yeah. I remember correctly. It probably wasn't good for it. It's still together after 10 years. What are you doing? That's good. Okay, you all know what to torque these to. I'm gonna show you right now. Kick. What? Kick. I think your torque wrench needs batteries or something. Kick. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice hair you got there. Me? Yeah. Is it all fucked up? No, it was just all that was in the camera. It's nice. I'm not talking shit. Kick. You're a dork. Okay, those are torqued. So. Gross fluid, and uh, I recommend anybody running rain fluid to put royal purple in the lightest weight you can if you have a drag car. Don't listen to me if you drive your shit around. This is racing car purposes only. A little purple in your rear end, and you actually can run uh, if you really, in the motor. Yeah, if you really wanted to, you can run like a quart of I think I have 8590 royal purple synthetic. You can probably run a quart of that, a quart of 50 weight. That's motor what we got in mine, or we had in mine, I think, yeah, before we changed the gears at the track. Is this enough to get them wet, you know? Not just enough to get them wet. Just enough to get them wet. Yeah, the gasket's intact, all nice and clean. I'm gonna stick this on there, oh, right side. Oh, why are you shaking? That's what he does. You're doing a great job. Well, you're welcome. I'm just doing this to hold it, and then I'm gonna loosen up the... I guess I can go put the carburetor on. I'm gonna go do that. Carburetor, pretty simple. It's like changing an injector right now. Changing an injector hat. We'll get her bolting this little thing down. We gotta finish the gears and change the oil. Start her up. Warm it up, charge it here, get everything set here, put it in the trailer. And the o ring's gone too. Huh? O ring's gone. I thought you said no o ring. Where's that? 
Put it on the carburetor when you get your lunchie. That's right here. This one. Okay. You got it now. Just hold this up. Right there. I don't know how you're holding it, but it's not, it doesn't look right. And you got it. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. It's not. Pull that one. Oh, yeah. That was a good maneuver. Okay, let me go on that side. It's good. That's a gorgeous move. Yeah, that's why it's not fun. Look at that. See that? The content. Teamwork. It's dream work. What are you doing? Getting dirty. I'm finding grease so I can rub it on my face. Oh. So I can look like a real car girl. Well, let me turn the camera off while you do that. So you can have a clean shirt and a dirty face? Yeah. Oh. I'm just digging Why don't you go here. down the list of objects car has on a piece of paper? Uh, it has a head gasket. Oh, no, no. It has two head gaskets. And... Oh, oh, it has an oil pan gasket. It's got a timing thing. Um, oh, it has uh, fuel lines. Um, it has pistons. No, it's an actual like part that people regularly upgrade. We go street racing. Barry, we go to like to some races, and guys would be like, "It's got a camshaft in it," and he's like, "Of course it does. How would it run?" <laughs> Am I crazy for rolling around in my stick shift car with a with a lap belt? Or street racing the black car back in the day with a lap belt. These other people are putting ha full harnesses in their street full cars. Full harness in a street car for, in their for a second, 12 second street cars. <gasps> and my axles have these holes in them. Your axles. I don't know what they're for, but they have like holes in them. Where's the hole? There's the hole. Okay. What wraps should I do on my car mix? Oh my god. What are your mods? I have calipers. I painted my calipers lime green. Stickers. Put the lug nuts on. Let's the lug nuts are actually on this All one. Those. What? Lug nuts are actually a mod on this one. Yeah, yours are titanium and these are aluminum. Yours are lighter though, aren't they? I don't know, I have, to, I have to get a crack scale. <laughs> get a drug scale? Yeah. It won't be a drug, it's a food scale because we're health nuts. And no, it's, cra it's a crack scale. scale. Oh my god. And we need to see what the, the Pepsi challenge from, which oh, Pepsi challenge from aluminum. Whoa! Oh. Mustang people and your C clip bullshit. Huh? These are the only wheels you will ever see on a Mustang. Ever. Really? Ever. Those are the only wheels you'll ever see on a Mustang? These. Yep. Those are the only wheels you'll ever see on a Mustang. I think I've seen Mustangs with different wheels. These are the only wheels. Yeah. These weld magnums. You'll never see another set on any other Mustang except this one. Any other Mustang in the world. I think you're wording that incorrectly. You'll never see another set of wheels like that on a Mustang. Exactly. That's not what you're That's saying. That's what I said, booty trap. No, it's not what you're saying. Please don't spill that on me. Give me a wheel. Did you tighten her up? She's all tight. Did you put that heavy ass brake drum on? I'm working on it. Oh, it's so heavy. That's like so heavy. Did you show the camera the secrets? Huh? Did you show the camera the secrets? I don't know what you're talking about. I got our garage carpet all dirty. Oh, the wheels in the mirror, they're so, they're so cool. What are they? Honda Weld Magnums. You're so cool. That's lunchy. You're so cool. <laughs> I'm trying to get your rust off of here, but why 
Oh, this is rusty. We live in a desert. Hello, hi. Oh, oh, we're on. We're on. Attempt number two. Don't hit the trash cans that are in the middle of the road. Predictions for attempt number two. We did a, what did we do, a 142 60 foot last time? Yeah, 142. But we have 173. 373s in it now instead of 410, or 430s. Yeah, well, the car wasn't running quite how it should either. 142 on the street is pretty good for the first time out there. Oh, and we're running a red light. How about that? This is proof that you do illegal things. Don't don't out. mind the whole driving out to go do street testing. It's amazing what 14 degrees will do. It's 43 degrees outside. You're saying it's hot. Compared to last time, it was terrible. What are your predictions? What are we gonna do? I think it'll run better. I think you still got to do a couple of. I think it's still rich. Yeah, at idle. We can lean that out with the air. It's just at idle. It's on a different. You gotta remember it's a carburetor. Is Lungy coming out? Yeah, it's on a different circuit on an idle then. We didn't change the idle circuit. And then he he backed the screws back off. So they're half a turn on the air. The air bleeds. When you were bringing it up on the brake in the garage. I just. I why, why did it sound like it was gonna die? Was I, that you I, or I was just, that? Yeah, I just floored it oh. in the idle. I did, a, I did a you. We're gonna run out of fuel. We're running red lights. Got a good start. Oh yeah, it's real, it's real smooth in this truck here. Don't, don't get an F450 if you like a smooth ride. This is purpose. All our vehicles are purpose. I don't know. That, that Dodge 3500 was smooth. That yeah, one was boring. It was. It was slow. Gutless. It wasn't gutless. It was gutless. No, it did. 75, 80 miles an hour towing a yeah, but Keystone, Montana up I got beat things. by a mini cruiser trying to get on the freeway. Yeah, but it's the same fast with towing 18,000 pounds, yeah. 20,000 pounds. Yeah, but it doesn't get up and go. Any final words before we get there? Uh, no. Final Just predictions? Who's thing. all coming? Brian and Munchie and... Jerry. And Jerry? Yeah. You're getting Jerry out on a weeknight? He's self-employed now. He can do whatever he's, got, he's a business owner now. Okay, bye. Cool. I wouldn't have bought it normally, but I have. Where you, where you hook up? Where we get the hookup from? My brother-in-law. I get them every. Higher than half. What? And they're all brand new. Why don't you tell me about that deal? I've got. I even have the fucking. Belt? I even have the fucking tool toolbox. Dude. I have a new belt. I put the other one aside. Tires are already set. Everything's ready to go. Hold on, go full throttle. Is this hitting again? Is that full throttle? Yeah. It doesn't quite have full throttle, but. Okay, let go. It's good. Go ahead and start it.
He scared himself. He did not scare himself. I think he kind of did. He just fucking let out completely. No way. <laughs> it's so, I mean, he can blame it on COVID, but. I think he let out and he kind of crap out. Yeah. Famous. Baby boys. Grandpa Hollywood, driver of the Great Mare, did not just miss you. It's testy. Uh, it was already climbed. Yeah. It was already maxed. It was already, it was already that high? It was high. It was, really? It was high all the way. No way. Okay, put a, send me a better steel. Yeah, it just would have kept on going. I lifted real fast and I got back in and it crapped out a little bit, so. Yeah, I don't love it. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, turn your camera. Oh, shit. Give me a screenshot of that on the I'm gonna take line. some pictures. Oh, wow. That was Got a lot fine. of smoke still, too. You've done worse. Blowing off out of that bitch behind you. Did you let out? I, let, I left it and got back in and then it crapped out. Yeah, it might do that if you just. What? How I feel? Into a wheelie in the Great American. Uh, that's not a wheelie. Why'd you let out if I was in a wheelie? Because. Are you scared? It's not. Because he oh, has COVID. Uh, COVID nineteen. We're not. We're not here His to bring wheelies. Not we're right. here to test shit. Oh. First wheelie on Culverts. Yo, Chair. Yo, what's up? What's up? But yeah, why did crap out? Yeah, that I got back in and it doesn't. It, it, uh, yeah, and it comes back on and it's unsettled in the car and it starts spinning. It's better, but it's still crapping. It was clean on the way back. Ah, ah. Yeah, it's just fucking blowing it higher though. But when it launches, it launches like it's, blah, 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 it's blah. actually pretty fast. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't weigh shit. It's only when it launches, so it's only with the vertical acceleration geometry. Yeah, once it starts it, it's hard for it to clean up. Like it. <coughs> well, we can try going to the 29 power valve channel restrictions and see if that cleans it up. It's, like, it's not that sticky out there? No. Oh. It is, like when you go burnout, it is, but it's like... Well, let's pop that guy out. So what, do you, what's, what are the things you need? We need a uh, adjustable wrench and an Allen. A special tool. Oh, well, there's a little like, sticker on there. Oh, yeah. It's brand new. I just bought in like 10 nights. Nice. So we have to have fucking two of everything. Yeah. yeah, so this is the boost reference, yeah. reference power yeah. valve. You can adjust this yeah. guy so, <laughs> in or out. It changes the... Yeah. So boost the fuel curve, and then these little guys yeah. are adjustable. Okay, where's the little allens? Where's the, the bag of the things? Yeah. In the trailer. Where is you the change these motherfucking guys no. out, and they make it enrich it more or less. Uh, this Carl? He doesn't look like he doesn't. No, I think I'm going to be able to hear you over them. Yeah. Are you cleaning? Because it's really cold. Oh, I mean, it's <laughs> Has their so we put the 28 idle feeds with, in. Yeah, yeah, right all. These are blanks to drill. These are ones we need. These are the monster, what we call the monster yeah, flutters right here. Those don't do shit. Those don't do shit but blow black smoke. <laughs> yeah, we call those the monster yeah. flutters. With that one just hanging out on the ground right there. That's our fucking, these are 40. That's a 40. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're leaning this, yeah, fucking hogging yeah, this bad boy out. 40 in it. Yep, we're going yeah, down substantially. So your idle feeds are now going to be not idle feeds. They're going to be 40,000 PVCRs. Aren't you commentating? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're just yeah. we're just finger banging the power valve channel restrictions. <laughs> he's, he's, he's doing his thing. He's Jerry, you're not allowed to talk no, over. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, oh, no, we can't talk. Yeah. No, no, we can't. They're doing it for the YouTube. We can't, right now? Yeah, we can't no. have a conversation. We definitely can't listen to fucking music. The Brian's yeah. revolting. Because we need content, right? Gotta have the content. We have a little bit of lube here because we don't want to pinch this bitchin' O-ring. So what are we doing over there, bunch? Fucking around. Yeah, no play by play yeah, on the right oh shit, we're just lubing this O-ring up so when this bitch rolls in there, it doesn't fucking pinch it and do some bullshit. Well, what'd you change? What is, what's going on? We went on? to you a... Put some different injectors in yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah, we changed so, the injectors. We went from a we went 15... From 220s to 160s. Yeah, we put some Snake Eater Performance 1500s in there. This is way off, that's how far. He's hitting trees and shit. Let's go back yeah. to the shit. Good night, so boys. Let them pull them out. Hey, brother. Yeah, right here. Oh, yeah, the, the one on the back side, Calvert Racing. 
Yeah, okay, one, okay. one one unit over, we're with them. Alright, I just want to make contact to see, because you know, we get a lot of people that need, like, you know, come Oh, oh yeah, 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 no, we, we're going to be out of here in just a second anyway, I'll sir. Okay, thank you. Have a good night, sir. Yeah, we're with Calvert Racing uh, with the Leaf Springs on this. Yeah. You're just making sure we're part of Calvert yeah. Racing, dog. Uh, Look, lunch is prepared for, for, for whatever's coming, dude. Just fucking what? Yeah, baby. Sweet. I own this building right here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, baby. Do you have identification? Yeah, we're with Calvert Racing. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm sweet, baby. What's the identification? You just know the name of the company? You just pretend like everything's okay, yeah. and then it is, you know? I'm not good at the stereotype go, uh, What did I say last time around here? If you want to be a badass motherfucking street racer, what do you got to be, Brian? You got to be a motherfucking egomaniac <laughs> and a crook. I didn't know when... Cheat, when right? Cheating, crooked ass. I didn't know when street racing became this big honorable thing. Like, all these guys are complaining about motherfuckers running W tires and shit. What a whiny ass bunch of fucking bitches, dude. You ain't out there cheating, you shouldn't you fucking be trying. out there. You ain't trying. Acting like street racing is supposed to be honorable. Motherfucker, you ain't at the racetrack. Street racing's a cutthroat business, my friend. Fucking racing in general. Racing in general. But street illegal, yeah. no rules street <laughs> racing. You're out there to fucking get it. You're committing a crime and you have to be uh, honorable? Honorable, yeah. Like, no, nah, not. Nah. Like, there's some things you just don't do. I mean, it ain't like everybody's saying how big their motor is and how fast their car is. Improvement though, huh? Still, it doesn't seem like it wants to run though now. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe we'll go up a little in the front now. Just tear. Why is it off? Can we crack that block yet or what? We're trying to, but see, you wonder why it's not starting. That's not why. Oh, I just died. Did you guys die? The way back, yeah. Ignition. Hey, it was a lot better though. Until it stopped running. Until we blew the motor up or the ignition got fucked, right? Yeah, right here, we got a carburetor problem called the fucking <laughs> distributor problem. <laughs> Fuck all the people that always talk shit about carburetors. Yeah. Fuck. Hold on. Fuck no, this is fun. Take warm showers. No, we put a gear on tomorrow. I already did a warm shower. I'm ready for the whole party. Uh, okay. Let's go. We'll come back. Let's just fun, dude. I'm come back when? I'm in the tomorrow night? Uh, yeah, fucking tomorrow night. Fucking tonight. We're we'll coming back, back tomorrow tonight. night. Then we're going to go race in the morning and the Saturday. We're doing, we can we're stay doing. up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. Radios. radios on this bitch. Brian, it's not easy. It ain't worth doing, right? You think it's the world's lightest fucking old field. This thing, we're all like 40 and Almost. You're so scared. So excited to be out here. I want to be out here. Oh my god, that's the cops. Oh my god, that's the cops. They're gonna go. Oh, lunchy. The cops won't do shit for us nowadays. Steal six, nine cars in a row without yeah. going to jail or some shit. No, they'll take you in, but you're, you'll be home by dinner. We're rusty and we're old fucking. They let gray you out in the morning. They gotta feed you. They gotta give you a bologna sandwich and chocolate milk. <laughs> Is 
Excuse me, sir. Oh. How does it feel to do a wheelie in the Great American? It wasn't a wheelie. <laughs> that was a wheelie. No. That wasn't a wheelie? That was a, that was a little baby pop wheelie. Maybe not as big as the ones that you used to do. For the road conditions, I think it's pretty good. So February 5th, we're going to the track. So that's why we're doing all this testing. We're down a belt. We need to get more belts. We're back to that belt life. Well, at least the last few. I mean, that was yeah. a whole dyno pools and- True. And flung at once. At least it didn't fling it. I just, I just have belt PTSD from that other thing. <laughs> the other thing? We'd have to change a belt halfway through a pass, but you know, you can't do that. So, or do a burnout, change a belt, and then, and then make a pass. It's always great when you're doing a burnout and you see chunks of your belt flying out from under the hood. It's great. It's great. Chunks, chunks of it. Chunks of the belt. Just teeth off of the like the ribs on the. Ugh. Yeah, poor thing. All right, that's it. That's it. Huh? Okay, bye.
plate. Step out and let's add another five. And then let it ride. Just keep the bottle, let the bottle pressure go down. Two tenths. Yeah. Like that. Two tenths. Well, two, two point two. You know? Yeah, I know. You know? By two tenths. By more than two tenths. Right the now. shift light never shut off. It's I shift it. Well, I heard you pull second early that time. Real early. Yeah. Huh? What did it say? One seventeen or something. One sixteen with a four. Oh, Jesus. That's flying for a fucking stock. So what's it gonna do with the other motor now? Y'all thought I'm crazy. No, that doesn't that doesn't change the fact that you're crazy or not. I'm still crazy. You're still crazy. But the board yeah, the board's laying and so yeah, it's legit, we're, right? We're, yeah. We're good. Hey, your light's atrocious though, just saying. I'm not <laughs> I'm not in I know. I'm just kidding. Wow! Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> it I feel makes like it awkward sick. when someone else does it. It works though. It's good. Hello. We're here <laughs> with this guy and this guy. Yeah. Um, we broke the record. Uh, FYI, this guy knows how to tune a carburetor. Yeah. <laughs> we know a thing or two about carburetors. We've been doing them for 25 years, and. Uh, it's not bill? always the carburetor's fault, guys. Don't blame the carburetor. Did, okay. uh, did Bill 
teach you how to do carburetors 25 years ago? No, no. Bill's <laughs> great, and he knows a whole lot about 4150s, and uh, so do I and Kevin from CSU. We know what we're doing with Hollies and everything else, too. So I build them all. <laughs> so as we were doing all this with the car, like what was going on? <laughs> well, was I was getting frustrated. Uh, everybody's pointing at the carburetor like cliche everything else with the world. You know, the carburetor gets blamed for absolutely everything. <laughs> um, systematically, too, we're freezing our tits right off because, what was it, 20, 30 degrees outside? I think it was the like 20, night, 28 what, the first night. Yeah, the first night was really cold. And then the second night it warmed up to... It was 42. It was 15 degrees warmer. 42. He's fresh off COVID-16. His brain's firing <laughs> on about oh, six yeah. french fries we and a half a meal. <laughs> We didn't get that my head started bleeding. And oh my yeah, yeah, you chopped yourself it up. It was in there, but you Tough. couldn't like tell what happened. You were just yelling, yeah, not that, yelling, but just. That poor car just was like, here you go. And it hit me in the head and I gashed my head. It was bleeding out of my head and cut my finger. That is stick it was, shift driver. It was terrible. I forgot to do a burnout in that car and my crew forgot how to hold the car to burn out. And, but we, we. Yeah, we were rusty though. Everyone was rusty. I mean, That's like we just. Had. Talking eight, eight or ten years since we had competitively, you know, street race somebody else for money. You know, we're all old and you know, we half blown energy. out. We're all older, half blown out, gray hair, tired, bad backs, hernias, cranky. We're out there in the <laughs> middle of winter trying to do this illegal activity for absolutely no reason. That was a closed road. In Mexico. Illegal. Uh, we Safe. had an ambulance, fire department, cops, everything there, K rails to block everybody off. It was. Union Stewart gave us a blessing. The, really. the security guard that came up to us was that was all staged. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're with, uh, we're with uh, Calvert's over there. <laughs> yeah, it was all legit. So yeah, we're rusty. We're coming off some stuff, but it's good that we show the real side of it. You know, anybody could doctor up a video, go out there and look like a fucking badass and pull off a string of hits. But you know, we're showing the real story yeah, behind it's it. Not, it's, it's what really happened. Not all sunshine and rainbows. No, not not. Nearly. Nah, we show the trials and tribulations, and anybody that's out there that criticizes that, that thinks that they're gonna go out and hit a home run the first time, they're out of their fucking mind. Well, we could have, we could have went out and hit a home run the well, first time on the track, though. Yeah. After that, but yeah. after that, it, the car has a soul, and if, if any car does have a soul, it's this one. The car hadn't ran in years. I was busy doing other stuff. That's why it was kind of incognito. But it's like the car was like slapping me back for it not being driven by me for years. And it fought back and then it showed itself by just doing what it did at the track that day. And it was amazing. And it wouldn't have happened other than everybody that was there, especially lunch. And Brian, Brian's not here with us right now. But, yeah, BP, um, Kelly too. Uh, it, a lot of things happened, you know, at the track, Rich Hoyle was there helping me do that. Yeah, but Rich. Uh, him changing the stuff and on the phone with what were you changing? Kevin. The channel restrictions? Yeah, we changed. So the first, when we first went out there, we didn't know we had the the major issue with the distributor. We're making carburetor changes, kind of chasing our tail. We were, we were messing with float level power valve channel restrictions. We were changing air bleeds. We are changing primary jet, you know, a little bit of secondary float level. Um, the way the float was sitting in the hangar. We're making all these different changes. And we went out there and it got a lot better. So we thought we were doing the right thing. Then we made more changes and it kind of stayed the same. And, that's, I think, when, I don't know if it was you or Brian, whoever, who pulled the distributor cap off? Uh, I think I you did. The car us. died and it wouldn't stop. Oh yeah, it yeah. died yeah, completely. It died. It's just, it would leave, and as everyone can see that's watching the videos, it, it would leave and then crap out, leave and crap out. And it makes sense why people thought it was, you need vent tubes or. Yeah, you need vent tube was, extensions or jets yeah. or carburetor or the, yeah. the best ones like Holly EFI, yeah, that's what it does. We had, need. And, you know, people saying, you're blowing a spark out gap, the plugs that, 23 or tighter, well, there, we don't gap anything higher than 18. Some of our cars are at 12. Yeah. Uh, with the amount of boost and pressure that's in the cylinder. It's just if the ignition system can fire it off, but it wasn't that. I mean, when it's crapping out, it's only making 10 pounds of boost, if that. So yeah. it's not anything to do with that. The nitrous is still small. Uh, we knew that it was something. Uh, something wiring or ignition or. Oh, yeah. Even in the last we, video, I was cussing the distributor out and pointing at it. It's always I, the ignition system. Well, I, I honestly thought at some point that it was sloshing over. Yeah. So, it, it would, would make leave. sense. Yeah, it, it left, left like a gangster and, and blew and, smoke and I out. I thought yeah. it would slosh over, but there are vent tubes on only uh, alcohol cars. 
Like yeah. Billy's. Yeah, yeah. Something that Billy's, has high fuel volume. Billy's has two tubes that are get wired together and you go down the carburetor hatch. Right. But that carburetor never had it when it was on her car. We explained that. It, and it ran I flawlessly video, for years and years and years, yeah, both I mean, on the street and the track. She would do wheelies at the track and everything. Like and that a car, gangster. That carburetor like, was flawless every time. Never had a problem. No tuning. We weren't making any crazy so, changes. Uh, I'm surprised it ran that good on the dyno. I mean, it made 625. And after everything is done and we're at the track, uh, if we were to on dyno it again, I'm sure it's probably 700 plus. Yeah, well, even that was higher. on a slick too. So all you guys that know it's, the chassis dyno stuff, slicks don't dyno well on chassis dynos. Uh, we were very conservative on the dyno because I didn't want to blow it up on the dyno before we even got there. But uh, anyway. Yeah, you were doing father, son, the Holy Spirit, Bible's in the back, babying it around yeah. the corner, no extra dry hops or test passes, and, nothing. Because this thing is on the triple verge <laughs> yeah, <laughs> blow it up so basically it's like an hourglass and you, we flipped it over and and then the beat sand, on it yeah, yeah. And the sand's it. coming out like every time that we squeeze it and do stuff it's like it's like we're just gonna throw it around and like hopefully it breaks hopefully but, it breaks yeah what? oh you got the mic yeah so and like in, in wheelie why didn't you stay doing the wheelie why do we see a wheelie well because if it's wheelies it's an aborted pass. It's not going to go as fast. And you know we, we're just giving you shit, right? Well, no, it's, no, We're no, not no. being serious. People, we're just... People are going to say, <laughs> that car used to wheelie and this and that. Why Do is it, this. Why is that. it cutting gas? Well, because if it wheelies and I have to get it and get back into it, that pass is aborted. That pass isn't as fast as it can go because there's only so many hits left in this motor. Yeah, and we're not out there to showboat and make a show and get a picture. We're out there to figure the car out at this time of filming. We're trying to get the data, improve on it, make it fast with the least amount of hits possible so it doesn't break the car, you know, yeah. so we can go out and do what it did. But all said and done, I mean, it's still running to this day. Like, I can start the car right now. Yeah, we right took now. it right to now. the track again. Yeah, and, it, and you probably won't show a video of that because it didn't do anything because you turned it way up yeah. and the track was not there. But it just... It you held up, it on the out. limiter spinning for probably a full second. <laughs> yeah. With boost and nitrous? With yeah. boost so, and nitrous. Oh, like, I was cringing. I thought, I thought it was done for. So, yeah, we went back to the track probably three months later to, to see if we can go faster. And uh, we had more timing in it, more cranked nitrous up. pressure. Cranked up. Everything was cranked up more. Crispy. And it just, the, the track... Couldn't. Hot and ready like a Little Caesars pizza. The track just, it, the first pass was the, was the best and it just drove into a wheelie and then it spun the tire because the track can't handle it. And I wasn't about to back the power back off just to run the car. I want to go faster. And the pass she's talking about, I was in and out of it, trying no, to get it down and it was, it was faster. You spun like 25 feet into the Ch run and the you just held it. Oh yeah. You were not in and out, you were just foot to the floor, so, held it. And I was cringing like, <laughs> ah! So we, I get to the end and I always shut the car off. I'm car now. And then uh, I try to start it back up and it's, the starter fell out. And it's like, <laughs> so I had to call him, get a tow, go back. And I'm like, I joked with her that it was broke. And she was all excited at that point. Fine, that it was finally this broke. Yeah, it was together for 10 so years. So all I did was Chris start it back in, tighten the bolts, and it started right back up. And it still has 70 pounds of oil pressure. Or 60 yeah, pounds. the whole crew has sad faces. We're all bummed out, thinking, oh man, it's blown up. But, I was so excited. And it was just ready for more action. But yeah, this, so for all of you that don't know, this motor has been together for... 10 years. Yeah. On blower nitrous and on, on the street. Yeah, on blower nitrous for 10 years. I street raced it street race, for lots street of years. Street drove it too. You drove it, cruised I it around. I drove it to work every day during yeah, the summer. all the time. By my, my shop. My little Bessie car broke. And then it got serious and you progressed into racing it in your car. And what did you go and you went down in the 580s or 570s or something in your car? I went 589. Yeah, and beat 589 on 589 at like 116 or something is the fastest I went in my car. My car was 2,900 pounds at the time. Just beating on it, hammering on it, hammering on it. Yeah. Never had Bad. an issue. Yeah. So guys, I'm well, the biggest ALS issue, guy, but. You know, it was, the, it was the distributor. The one issue we had was the yeah. distributor. Yeah, everybody, issue. carburetor, yeah. carburetor, And the carburetor. second issue was the new distributor. So. <laughs> distributor, distributor, distributor. It, we'll go over the, the actual combo. It, it does have a custom ground cam in it now. We used to have a stage one, but it's got, does it still have a stage one in it? Yeah. Or? 
Okay, stage one. This is like the biggest trick flow advertisement trick flow, baby. right now. The, it's got titanium retainers. It's got a really good spring pack, package on it to rev up. It's got stock lifters in it. Uh, trick flow, twisted wedge heads. Uh, Victor Jr. intake. Uh, we had to pan yes, off. That's which is because the, the motor sat for about a year uh, while we were building her car, and then we decided to do this. But we had the oil pan off. The last time that I took my car out with this motor in it, I it it got slower. Every pass it got slower. I thought for some reason we were bending the rods or something with all the boost that we were cramming into it. But at the time we were only putting like 16, 16 to 18 pounds of boost to it. Yeah. I thought that yeah. was a lot. I was made... terrified at 16 to 18 pounds. And we well, were at the track when he broke the be. record. We He shifted it at 7,400 freaking RPM and it made 24 pounds of boost. Yeah, I, 21 pounds of boost, let loose from running the 20, five O's on the juice. 24 pounds more. of boost and like what, 75 shot of nitrous? Yeah, which is, I think it's bigger now. Oh, it's ready to completely blow up. I thought it was done. I thought there's no way. But anyways, yeah. we took the pan off, we checked the rods, they weren't bent. I didn't want to look at anything else. I honestly think that if I would have made another pass, I could have went 30s in it. Oh, 530s, but yeah, it for wasn't sure. worth it and I already did it, so you're over 100 pounds lighter than me, so you're up next to do it, which I think you can go 20s we'll go in 20s. It. 20s, yeah. If what? it holds together, it does have a High diaper. High five 20s. So it has funny, a diaper, I think we should do a belly pan so too. So funny, funny thing, I yeah, have a whole blanket punch. and everything. So we put the diaper on before we went to the track and also we changed the distributor gear, right? Well, all the teeth that were on that gear went down in the pan, right? Yeah, rest in peace. And well, I drained the oil, I changed the oil. It still has the same oil in it from the track. Ooh. Right? <laughs> Ooh. But I changed it before the track day, right? Yeah. And I got a high powered magnet and I stuck it to the bottom of the oh, pan. Oh, OG like, trick. Like Tony Stark. Yeah, baby. Oh, Pretend all the And it, I don't know. Cross your fingers. It's still like that it's and fucking it still runs okay. Yeah. God, this poor motor has been through so much. It still goes. I mean, it doesn't even smoke. I mean, it's, it's not just the motor, guys. Okay, the magic is in the car. Well, well okay, so the on. magic is not in the motor. The motor just takes a lot of abuse. I don't know, it came out of a 90 Mustang that was crashed. Um, put Ugh. new rings and bearings in it and put it in my car and then it's just, it's survived a lot of abuse. There's nothing cool about the motor. It's Motor's blessed, but the car is on meth. That's why yeah. It's, yeah. it's a crack addict. Yeah. Okay, she's been on a diet for fucking 20 years and so to everyone, Bulimia, this, car weighs, she loves it. this car without the blower on it, but a running driving vehicle with without a driver. NA, no ballast, no, no driver. No, no ballast, no driver was 1,994 pounds. Yeah, that's what everybody kept saying in the comments and was tagging me online. Oh, it's 23, that's not that like the Scott Miller guy. That's not that present. Baby, the motherfucker does not look crazy, okay? And it's under 2,000 pounds. It's in 19, 19XX anything? Yeah is light, okay, Pippin? With an iron block motor in it, too. It didn't have a fucking aluminum motor in it. That, it doesn't, it's not all tubed out, it's not a tube chassis car, it doesn't have oh, glass fenders and doors and bullshit. Oh, is this gonna get it bad. looks like a regular crack pot Sonic 5.0. So, okay, the lights that are blue in the background, they're they're Ambient. magnet, and they're they're just magneted to the car right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's oh. ambiance, the ambiance yeah. lights, oh. proves, yeah. proves it all steel. Yeah, it's all steel. All steel, but, all glass, street car. So car-ar. with the blower, the blower. Well, not all glass. This is this is optic armor. This is optic armor. But the quarter window is the back window. That's glass. All steel, all plastic. Cool. The 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 blower weighs like seventy pounds, and then I was two sixty at the time I did it. So it was like like yeah, you're, 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 you're a little thicker right yeah, now than you were. So I'd say you're probably like yeah, two two forty five. We're good eaters. What do you want? Yeah. So twenty. I think it was like twenty three thirty when I did it. We like our pizza too, yeah. but. 23.30? That's why I did it. So it's gonna be Yeah, like so 20, everybody that's out there that thinks it's got some bullshit Kurt Busch NASCAR top secret motor that's cheating with concrete, it really <laughs> has what they fucking say it has. There's nothing cool it's at stock, all. stock, baby. With the motor, absolutely nothing cool. It's just some parts put together and, and we cram a whole shitload of boost into of it everything. and put nitrous yeah, on top of it. Yeah, boost, nitrous, so. vodka, <laughs> dreams, money, everything. <laughs> okay, so how do you make it live? This is how you make it live. Don't let it detonate and it has a motor plate mid plate in it. Stress. And it's blowing through the converter really bad. Yeah, cushion zone. So yep. it, on the, sh the fallback of the shift, if you can see the in car, it falls back 200 RPM, I think. Yeah, that's the it. shift light stays on the whole time. So that's why. If you put a tighter converter, it'd pick up five mile an hour, but it'd probably kick the rods or smooth It'll lug the motor down and yeah. <laughs> the love-hate relationship. It, yeah, for so sure. That, and the car's light. It'd go fast for one pass. We should probably do it. No. 
So I did put thicker oil on the trans. I drained all the shit out and I put thicker oil in the trans for that when we went. Oh, last when time. we went out the last time. I yeah. put thicker oil in the trans and Help spiced it, it up. To break the record, I think it shows on film. I had to lower the bottle pressure mm -hmm. and take two step out of it because it's too. It's so violent. The car just wants to wheel it. So violent. It Even on the forty two pass, this car was primarily set for street reasons, so we had to change some stuff around for the track, but you can tell when you watch the car that it is physically on the limit between how tight the front suspension is and how aggressive the rear suspension is set up. It's just jamming out, but it's just fucking right there, man. It <laughs> wants to give up, it wants to break, it wants to crash, it wants to do some crazy shit, but thank God it held together for that yeah. pass and it made it. It's like it's like going like this. It's what, like going 115, Yeah, you can see the whole thing like Yeah, and that's hard to do with the oh, three-speed too. It was too. heavier. It has 60 pounds on the nose. Heavier. Oh, still, yeah, this yeah. still got the yeah, weight on it. Did we put weight, 60 yeah. pounds on it? I thought we put like 20 or 30 pounds on it. No, it's Under not. construction, guys. That's it's why fine. the wheel's yeah, not 15, on it. 15, 20, 30, 35. Grandpa's 35, starting to cook yeah. your projects. 35. Clean Anyways, it. we broke the record. It was really cool. Badass. Uh, that was a great day. Mark Miller had the original record. He has the original stock block record. He went a 494 with a stock block. Stock block. Um, Aftermarket rotator, right? And he went a 564. I think 564 with a seven with a stock short block. He's actually the first person into the eights with a stock short block as well. So we can't beat him there. I can. You, you can't well, be you the can first further. person into the eights. No, you can, further. You can, uh, you can, can beat, go further can into it, team, but he but will forever be the first person that yeah. went into the eights. He was so the first he's, person that He's the coolest guy yeah. out there. He's cool. We and did take the stock short block record from him and we reset it at a 542. 125. Stock eight. bottom end. Yeah. And for everybody that's out there, that goes in the comments the I see this guy, time sometimes. Stock bottom end. Yeah, they all, they go, oh, well, it doesn't have the stock cam. It's not stock bottom end. If you follow any kind of fucking stock bottom end racing and all these micro records and all this stuff, you'll realize that SBE or stock bottom end is an extremely common term that's used by all the LS guys and all the mod motor the guys. All, parts, it's all the breakable parts, Huh? It's all the breakable parts. Camshaft. Yeah, cam's not in it. Like all the LS guys, they have all these crazy little John cams and all this stuff. It's very common for them to use a stock block and rotating assembly, a stock short block how it came from Ford with a camshaft in it. It's not like we're making our own record or trying to get creative. It's a very common thing for guys. It's the fastest stock bottom end 302 in the world, period. Yes. If it's not, find us one that's faster. And, uh, and don't tell me your Lock uncle in. had one five years ago. That yeah. <laughs> oh, your uncle had one and he used to smoke meth and pop wheelies over Coke cans on <laughs> Uniroyal tires in 1970 and all that stuff. Come on, let's be real. So yeah, the next record is a stock, <laughs> the stock block record, which is I'm going to take the original mirror motor, the 331, and I'm going to put uh, chains of heads to trick flow heads, uh, which uh, trick flow is awesome to us. And uh, Great product. We're gonna put the same blower and nitrous to that. Yeah. And we're hoping to make close to 900 horsepower of that to the tire. That's so, gonna be what Super Saiyan level two for the Grand So Mare. stock block, uh, good rotating assembly, a different camshaft, trick blow head, same blower nitrous, same setup with a same power glide. Yeah, I've gotta change the trans. Uh, we're putting a power glide with a uh, probably Neil Chance converter. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but do you guys think you could go, I mean, I don't know if you're gonna go this far to try to push your current record even further. Do you think if you put a glide in it, but left a little loose converter, you could go faster than like a 29 or a 30? No, with, I think it needs the gears to go. Mechanical advantage? I think it needs it. Yeah. I can uh, see that. Kind of almost like got, an all motor well, setup. It has 373. Huh? Like it's got four four tens in it. Yeah, it's got 373s with a 240, what's the stock? 248, I think, C4. First C4. So we had to put 373s to keep it down. But if we put a uh, uh, 180 glide first, we could put four tens back in it, but it's just... Or we could put one of those crazy $6,000 billet C4s with but the low furs. I mean, there's so many shit you can do. Think about it, it's like, it's it's gonna lug it out of the hole of it. As soon as it hits that second, it's just hard on it. It's hard on everything, yeah. It's just harder on it. But Load is, and the then stock, the timing comes in. I don't think it'll be a problem. I'll just put... You got a little, yeah, you get a little more nuts I'll put four thirties in it. Yeah. And the goal it is to go four seventies. Stock block. Stock block. I mean, old gray mare don't care, baby. If <laughs> she'll do yeah. it. We're gonna put this, some more bars in it, so she's is, gonna be a little this heavier. This is gonna be a far reach, and I don't know how that we could prove it, but if we had like five stock short blocks laying there, mm -hmm. I think this car can go five O's. Hundred percent with the stock short. Block. With the stock. If we can just short, tweak out, stock on bottom end. If we can just tweak out and like do things, change the camshaft, do this, add Blow this, do this, and. Dude, think about, down in it. think about if we had, if 302s were as prevalent as LS motors and we could just line them up, 
you know, if you had like a, a thousand asshole 302s, like all the five threes and four eights and six O's that are out there, if there was that available, we could really just make this thing smash out. We could do more testing, you know? And I didn't have five other cars. Yeah, it, it would be cool. Yeah. I, think, I think we, it, it could be done, but I think it's good enough. And if somebody comes and beats it, then I'll, it'll give me more incentive to do it. Yeah, but Mark Miller's point, gonna put his car back together with a stock block, not stock short block, so. Well, he has, oh, a, yeah. he has a 9.5 though. Hmm? He no, nine. he's gonna put an 8.2 deck back in it. Oh, he heard it's coming? Yeah. But not a stock bottom end. Oh, imagine that race. I'll take this car back to his. We don't have to race. Imagine. It'd just be cool to have the competition because no. we've just been going after his record with nobody to compete against for this well, thing. I'll, I'll line up next to him. We'll just go. Yeah, yeah we'll line up next to him. But, yeah. but also, Lock in or lay down, baby. it'd be cool to go after a record while someone else is also trying to defend that record. I like the competition. This yeah, has just been easy. True. This was too easy. You don't want to be the only person reaching for the cherry on the tree. Well, the, the first... Decent pass. I went 571. 571 lifting at 394 or something. In the road. Is it pretty cool to go 540s, you know, well into the eights with 600 horsepower? <laughs> it's like a go kart, huh? It's like yeah. being on a surfboard with a motor on the back. But, just, a, no, super, like but a super will make 1200 and go 12. Yeah, sometimes. Well, back in the day, a yeah. Civic definitely. Now they, they're, they're, they're different now. They're look, sure. Yeah, they're faster now. But I'd like to uh, thank Trick Flow, Pro Charger. Team Z. Team Z. Uh, Nitrous Kevin, Express. Kevin from CSU, Nitrous Express. Ted's Carb Shop. Yeah, Ted's Lunchbox. Carb Shop. Lunchy, this guy. Uh, addiction, Eddie at Addiction for- Eddie's the man. Let okay, me. so what? Eddie got a lot of negative comments. Oh on the God, they don't like Eddie. Poor Eddie. They don't like, you have to understand, Eddie is very particular. He's a very good tuner, extremely good tuner, but he likes everything good. He doesn't want to be chasing a problem that has nothing to do with what he's doing, especially like Lunchy doesn't want to be chasing a carburetor problem when it's actually the, the fucking distributor. distributor. So he wants God. to make sure you're on your shit when you take your car to him. He's very particular and yeah. he is, he's, it's he's also, very blunt. It's also very common amongst tuners to have to deal with a whole fucking barrage of mechanical issues that's not their problem when the car goes on the dyno. Well, so he's already a little frustrated yeah, with plus stuff like that. Eddie is, a fuel injection tuner, not not a carburetor. carburetor. So I show up there with a fucking suck hole, and and he wants to shoot your ass. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't like it, you know. Yeah, he's already doesn't like him. So it's 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 terrible. But this record and all this was done with, and I and I told him I because he's like just put a Terminator X on it and this and that, and we broke the record. And there's a reason why I wanted to do it this way because this is a tangible, relatable. This is a thing. relatable thing that we have going. I mean, not every car is going to be as fast as this car because how light it is, but yeah. This car has no O2 sensors, nothing no dry true. shaft speed, no shock sensors, no data, nothing. It's all done by the way it used to be done, and it's fast. So it's a 116, 60 foot with a 4150 with carburetor, bolt-on parts, bolt on bolt parts, parts, nothing crazy trick. A three-speed trans, which aggravates everything, but also helps everything. No trans pressure gauge, no no, no dump valves, no magic yeah. bullshit lockup converters. Nothing. It's simple. I don't even know what converters in it. What is, what is, what, what's the kind of fucking Jags, XHD it's, or something? No, it's... It, it's Whole not, shot, B&M. There's a shop out here that did it. Mojave Green. I I, blew, I had a... Like, Valco I had a Summit whatever converter oh. and it just completely exploded one day. And so there's a shop out here, H&H &H converters or something? or I have no idea. That's the anyway, only... They shout out party. to that pimp too. Shout out to that guy because this converter has been doing awesome since... Good job, pimp. Well, well, you set the world record and you didn't yeah. even fucking know that shit. You just 4,000 install converter went to 60. Yeah. yeah. Hey. hey. So we don't know if he's helping us or hurting us. He's keeping it alive and slowing you us watch, down. Watch the tag. It's like 3,800, 6,600. I shit and it's like, oh, fuck you. Sounds like a CVT in a Prius on. It's just oh, revving God. the whole fucking time. <laughs> yeah, so no, there's no data we had. Oh, oh, it did, the only data was the map sensor and RPM, which she said, you just went to 70. 7,400. And it made 20. 24 pounds of boost. Plus she said, she said, don't do that again. <laughs> that was so, 72 terrible. high. Yeah. yeah, so we, because it, it happened so fast, I left the brake and I immediately have to shift and to keep it right. But God, this thing's violent. Didn't the hatch blow off of it too? Does it show that? In one of the oh, passes? no. Oh, that's, no. That's a the whole fucking yeah, hatch blows off and it's just oh, it's all twisting off. up and shit, and popping it just up. Pops open and <laughs> this poor old car. That's a mess. Oh, vibrant. It's a this was vibrant. done with aluminum vibrant mufflers. Kelly, plug. Kelly didn't. Kelly didn't let you film any of him welding the pipes. He didn't yeah. do it. He just likes to get shit done yeah, and get Kelly out. He's, he's not a. Yeah. He's a little bit better now. 
Uh, but he did all the, the welding from We just went from some plastic tubes on there to some fabric, chrome, chromed out tubes on there without Helped without any, with yeah. the, the exhaust. But those are the OG aluminum vibrant mufflers on there. That uh, We have two sets of those left. Those that you sick. can see in the uh, the cover of a magazine yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah. so awesome. the, all the trials and tribulations that we went through like on the street and all those different nights and all the problems and all that stuff, it really was, it looks really bad on video, but it's like we went out there, made a few hits, we got a hold of it. We, we're not new to this stuff, guys. We had a, like, like we were talking about earlier, we had a blow through car many, many years ago at 3,600 pounds with one 4150 carburetor that went 197 miles an hour. Years and years, at least a decade ago. So we're not new to all this 2010, stuff. 2010, 2011. Yeah, so for, for eons ago. It was 2000, when you guys went to the streetcar and broke the trans, it was 2014. We're not, But, but yeah. that was with EFI, this is way yeah. before that, so. Moral of the story is we're not new to racing and all these problems, but it happens to the best of us. You know, every once in a while, a weird thing, like a distributor problem will sneak up on you. And then like you fight problems that you don't know where they're Carburetor guy gets cursed at and makes 87,000 changes. And Nobody cursed the... at you. You were cursing at everybody <sighs> else. <laughs> I know. I love cursing. Sorry. I love F words. It's my favorite. So we bronze distributor geared it, put strange double adjustable struts on the front. Yeah. Uh, changed the tires from slicks, slicks to radials, radial, yeah. strapped the front end down and took it to the track. And then that's what you guys see. Tightened it up. So to turn it back to like the way it was, we just had 90 tens on the front for the street forever. Ever. So. I mean, the car had 90 tens on it when I bought the car from for 2,000 bucks off Manny. It had 90 tens, 70 yeah. 30s or 90 tens on it. Yeah. $2,000 car with yeah. a $50 motor. <laughs> Paid two, $2,200 for this car from Mexican Manny. Shout out to Mexican Manny, Manny's high performance. Yeah. For the car and <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah, awesome. Optic Armor. I forgot to. Optic Armor. Shout out Optic Armor. Optic. Sorry. The first video I accidentally pushed this, this window. Pushed it through? It's fine. It's fine. Did fine. Elon Musk on the window? Blew it out. Yeah. Fine. So Anyways, thank I you. Think, I think we said everything. Yeah. Stay tuned for more action because... For uh, yeah, we're definitely not done. Hopefully this guy will come back more. Right. Yeah. yeah. If, if everybody on here could please go to this guy's YouTube. Oh no. <laughs> please. And we're beg retired. him, we're beg retired. him to start posting videos again and no, maybe no, come no. out with us more because we don't ever see him anymore. If we do some gangster gray mare shit, I'm down. But if it's the radial thing, I can't. I can't do it. I don't like the radial. We'll figure it out. Okay. okay. Thanks. Peace, guys. Okay, bye. Much love. You gotta get an outro thing like, bye bye. <laughs> or something. <Bye> -bye. <laughs>